Good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I'm going to take you on another adventure. It's very early in the morning, it's uh, 5, uh, 5.50 I think in the morning right now and I'm getting ready to go to Antwerp because I'm meeting some friends over there and we're going to drive to somewhere in Belgium to see an abandoned house that is completely furnished with everything left behind of the former people. These places are going to be wonderful. We're going to do two places today and I'm really excited to go exploring again because it has been a long time right now. The COVID pandemic has been keeping us down and not being able to travel anymore. But whenever we find places in Belgium to explore, we're on our way. And that's the day today. So uh, let's go there. The car over here is completely frozen. It's probably minus two or three degrees here in Belgium right now. And this is my old car, actually. I gave it to Jordi, but he landed out to me today to take with me on a, this Urbex trip. Tomorrow I'm getting my own car, but this is the last time I'm gonna drive with this car to go exploring. And it has brought me all over Europe, all over Western Europe, I drove with this car. I've done maybe 100,000 kilometers just for exploring with this car. I really loved it and I'm really grateful that I got this car to take me around and show me all these places in Europe. Okay, let's go for a last drive right now. Let's get the coffee from the roof and let's hop in. arrived at the location and over here we can immediately see the window is smashed. So we just made it inside of this place. Uh, it's literally a time capsule that hasn't been open for a very long time. And uh, I already know some history about this place, but I'm going to do a thorough research now of the place, see what I can find and I will tell you the full history right now. Welcome back to the Bros of DK. Today we have another awe-inspiring documentary for you that takes place in the Perugula country of Belgium. This appealing house was built in the latter part of the 1950s by the man of the house himself, Mr. Gorsens. He was a person of all trades, and every single piece of this house he built himself. He lived in this house all his life, together with his wife and his daughter. And when you are wandering through this place, you can truly feel that they made this house into a home, by decorating it with beautiful artworks and memories that they got from all over the world. In his day-to-day -day occupation, Mr. Gorsens was a self-employed handyman and he went around the towns fixing things for people in need. Unfortunately, around the year of 2012, both of the parents passed away. And what happened to the daughter is unknown. Why did she leave this place behind and didn't retrieve the memories that are left behind there? Let me take you inside of this place and let's try to figure out what happened here. Ah, 
so welcome back everybody. I'm really happy to be exploring again in Belgium. I found this relic left behind, a time capsule with everything left in it. And I got the full history of the family as well. And we're now standing here in the backyard of the place. This used to be the play terrain, as you could say, for the man. Here we had his company. Behind this, this was his workspace. And if you go around the garden, you can see over those eight years that this place has been abandoned, it has totally overgrown. Nothing is left of it. I'm going to take you on a full tour today of this house, show you how these people left and what they left behind. I'm excited. Let's go. As you can see, over the years, over those eight years, this place, this uh, shed over here or workspace has totally collapsed. The upper floor, nothing is left of it anymore. And down here is also collapsed. And this used to be the pathway to go to the front, front door, probably where he uh, got all his tools into the back from. And you can see trees have been growing here over those years. It's really cold today in Belgium. You can see this is totally frozen up. Oh, <laughs> let's go into his workspace and see what's left behind in there. The spider webs are also freezing. And he was a handyman, like I told you in the story. He would go around the neighborhood and he had his people where he fixed things. Oh, you see all paint cans over here, some lamps. And then this upper floor here has totally collapsed. Maybe there were some bedrooms up there or some storage space, but that is no more. And there's a chandelier hanging there in the back. Some bird cages here to the side. I'm already shivering. <laughs> That's how cold it is right now. This toolbox is still here. And now we have the backyard. Completely overgrown. Wow. This used to be a swing for the children. Maybe the grandchildren because they only had one child. And the grandchildren used to come here as well. A bucket full of ice. This was that little patio where they could sit in summer, have a little barbecue. Wow. Also this little bridge here in the backyard to go over the pond. Behind there we have a pond. And here we get an overview of the house itself that we're going to explore today. Let's go inside. Ooh, I just see something else. I wanted to go inside of the house, but there's also this little storage space over here to the side. I don't know what it is or what, what the use of this place was. Oh yes store the fuel but there's also a book shelf here to the side where the man kept some books oh dangerous properties industrial materials uh, oh these are all books about uh, for his work that he needed okay that's interesting the investor of the day this is an investment book. Even the shoes are left here. Wow. <sighs> Little jacket from him as well. Hello. And now it's time to go inside of this place. I'm really excited for it, but look above us. There's no roof anymore. <laughs> here, over here, the spider webs are also growing. Not growing, they just made spider webs. And they're now covered with frost. This brings us inside of the home, inside of the entrance hall, the back side entrance hall. And we can immediately see the kitchen here on the left. But first, we're gonna look at this piece over here. This is, I just came into the house and I looked at this cabinet and I must say, it's one of the most wonderful cabinets that I've ever seen. The carving on here is just meticulous, just meticulous. 
and the spider webs have been taking it over over the years. All the clothing of the people is still in here. Just look at this wonderful cabinet. And here to the side, there are lots of lots of bottles of wine. I don't know which of the two lived the longest, but they had one hell of a party before they passed away. Wow. Again, the cabinet. There's a little storage compartment here to the side. <laughs> oh my God, that's totally filled with the shoes of the people. And they are not even the shoes. Like these are for women, all the women, size 38, nine euros 90 they used to cost. But these are children's shoes. And those were maybe of the grandchildren that used to live here. Wow. And they also say what the story says is that this man built this entire house himself. You can see it from the arches. Oh, the house has unique sign all around. Gonna see it throughout the house. There's one Christmas hat over here, Santa hat. The drawer. This brings us into the bathroom. And yet again, at the back, you can see that arch coming back, the design coming back, that the man implemented into the house. This is one hell of a mess. One hell of a mess. Let me just try to go through here. That is shower here to the side. Wow, this is a pretty unique bathroom, I must say, with the blue and the tile beneath it. And then the arches worked into it. And if I go to this side, you can also see that same arch coming back for the bathtub. Pretty strange. Wow. All of their belongings are left in here. All of their shampoos and their perfumes and everything is still in here. The man is shavers. Wow, even their toothbrushes are still left behind. This also always gives me an eerie feeling when I find a house like this, totally left behind. All the clothes still in it, all the memories. Wow. Let's go through the arch now. And this brings us into another part of the house. A little sitting area with these wonderful antique chairs. Beautiful upholstery. But fortunately, they are broken right now. And moldy as well, that one. Ooh, that's the basement in front of us. It's not accessible anymore. I'm not gonna even try to go in there. There's so much stuff in this basement. I don't dare to go in there. Oh, we're sensitive people. <laughs> look above, look away. But above me here, there are hundreds and hundreds of spiders caught in this spider web. Then you know that this place is truly left behind if you see spider webs like that. Wow. I love the arch style throughout the house. It's so unique. And even this kitchen that we're looking at right now. What a wonderful kitchen, the design on it. Yeah, it must be one of the most unique kitchens that I've seen so far. Two little lanterns to the side. Wow. Here they would put their keys when they came into the house. There's also lots of thread left behind for sewing for the woman. This is also one of her sewing supplies. A box for that. Lots of artifacts on the wall as well. I see a little clown here. Wow. I love this clock hanging here on a wall. It's like the dinner clock with the knife, uh, with the spoon and a fork attached to it. Ooh. Wonderful. <laughs> here to the side of the room, look at this plant. Over the last eight years, it has been hanging here. Got no water anymore and completely died. Mm -hmm. 
tea kettle over here, bronze or copper tea kettle. This doesn't belong here, but I'm gonna leave it anyway. Wow, that was nicely balanced. Okay. And we can see a little plaque of a sailor here on the wall. I think the man was also very much into sailing because uh, we see lots of sailing artifacts throughout the house. We're gonna see it later on. The DK is taking place over those years. Oh, look at this wall. It's swelling up from the water that gets inside of it. Wonderful plates here on this cabinet. I want to turn one of those around to see what's on the back. Hand painted Delft blue made in Holland. These are true Dutch plates, Dutch blue plates. And I got multiple of them. One over here, They're all made in the city of Delft. That's the city in Holland. All these <laughs> batteries on the windowsill. Ah, I, I presume that the, that the mother was a big fan of these uh, hanging clowns, as you could say. In some houses in Belgium, you see them. Wow. This one is empty. And over in this part of Belgium, I presume these people also spoke French because uh, we're almost at the uh, Belgium uh, French uh, Flemish border. Wonderful to see all of this. A stamper for the potatoes that they made. All the cups and plates are also still in the cabinet. And then you have the table here in the middle that they used to sit together at dinner. Wow. And that door, the skylight that lights up this room and gives it light and life. Let's go further now to this part of the house. A little painting here on the wall. Hmm. Later on, I'm going to test the electricity of the house. Normally in Belgium, uh, the electricity keeps on after a place gets abandoned or somebody doesn't pay the bills anymore. Because we have this rule that the government states that uh, everybody has the right to a little amount of electricity, even if they don't pay. A wonderful tea kettle here. This looks like a Japanese design to me. Wow, it's pretty heavy. Oh. And here, in this little rack to the side, they used to store all the CDs. But that's of course, is obsolete nowadays. But back in 2012, people used to have still, wow, that sound. <laughs> still lots of CDs. We're now walking into the dining room. Oh, wonderful. Two chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. And the first thing we're gonna look at Inside of this dining hall, uh, the first dining room is the bureau of the man. After he, of course, conducted his work, he needed to write out the invoices and the recipes to his customers so that the family could live and that they had money to buy things. Let's see if there are any papers or something left behind. Uh, little boxes for jewelry as well. Some lighters, Let's see if they still function. No. Oh, I see a little spark coming from it. But it has been here for too long now. Small violin here on the bureau. It's not, no, that's not a musical instrument. That's just a little artifact. Over here as well, these yucca plants. They're now hanging. They used to once flourish in this room. And here, on this typewriter, up until 2012, he used to conduct his work. Wow. Little religious painting over there. I also love these paintings as well, because they depict the lives 
how it used to be in Belgium back in the day, back in the beginning of the 19th and 18th century, how farmers used to live. And then you got a hat over here from the Belgian army, I believe, or the Marine. I'm not 100% sure. Wow. The curtains here. Then to the side. We have the first picture of the house. Oh, wow, look at this. This might have been their daughter. The one we see over here in the picture. They had one daughter, and that daughter might have been in this picture. I love the plates on here as well. Wow. Wonderful to see all of this. To the side of the room here, we also got this aquarium. I hope there are no dead fish on the bottom. That would be crazy. It's just left behind all of this. Little cabinet. Still some glasses in here as well. And all the puppets that they collected over their life. Let's close this up neatly again. Wonderful cabinet. And then again, the dining table here in the middle of the room. or something because we can see these paintings coming back lots of times they depict the former life how it used to be and here is like a little statue wow these plates over here are magnificent let's look in these drawers over here oh we got the glasses of the people left here more toys and artifacts of the children. How in the world could anybody leave something like this behind? All the plates are also still in here. Oh, more pictures. Yes. This is actually outside of the house. This is in the backyard. There's nothing on the back of here. Class photo. Oh, and some film as well. All the toys are still in here. Let's have a look in that entrance hall. Oh, look at this. There's so much junk in here, as I must say. But you can see it must have been a wonderful entrance hall. These people were not poor, absolutely not. Let me just show you. Go to this side. They had a grand piano in this room. That's wonderful if you have a grand piano in your entrance hall. This where they welcomed the guests inside of the house. Wow. Now we have one more room here to the back. And this used to be the garage. You can see, it's the garage door. Still a bicycle left of the children. And this room is completely collapsing. Just completely collapsing. this room you can truly see that this that they thought about what they put in here all the artifacts from their travels around the world well 
I'm just gonna show you what's all in here because this, this room is just fantastic. First off, we got this chair here to the side. And to me, that looks a little bit like an African style, but I'm not 100% sure from which country that this chair is. If anybody knows, just let us know in the comment section. We are all very grateful to know. One more of those paintings depicting the old lives in Belgium from the same painter as well. Okay, that's interesting. And over here we got a CD. <laughs> Uh, this looks like a uh, Muslim Arabian CD. Wow. Lots of cassettes in here. Lots of CDs left behind them, books. And you can see that this is a true time capsule. Vinyls as well. And these are the small ones. Wow. What's this book about? Dictionary. French English Dictionary. And I also got these, I don't know exactly how to say it, but I think it's a Chinese waiver. Um, I think it's in Chinese. <laughs> Correct me if anybody is Chinese. I think that's the Chinese word for it. Wow, lots and lots of books all around this room. They were very literatures. A brass statue here and a duck as well. And I love these little cushions that are on the ground here. They are all around the saloon table over here. Wow. This car as well. It's just wonderful. And above this all represented with this enormous chandelier that lights up the room. I love the light that reflects the color in there. You get like blue and yellow and purple. Wow. Let's have a look over here. You can see that there is a taxidermy duck on the stove. Maybe he was a hunter or something like that, or he knew somebody that was a hunter. You also see these feathers over here. Lots of animal things inside of this house. Is this a little bell? No. And then they got this grand fireplace here. This fire visor in front of it. Just adore this room and then the decay behind it. The wallpaper peeling off over the years that has been abandoned. Over here we've got the sitting area. This is a very typical mirror for Belgium. See, that's a really weird style. I've seen it in multiple Belgian places. Beautiful art in this room as well. Wow, coffee table with the last pack of cigarettes beside it. And this is not a Chinese waiver. This is one from Barcelona, it says. That's from Spain. <laughs> this is a huge one, actually. As you can see, they love to travel around the world and bring things back to their home and decorate it with. There's a little puppet in here. Wonderful to see this all. One last look around this room. And this must have been one of my favorite rooms that I've ever seen. We're now gonna make our way to this side of the house. And over here the stairway is. But first off, there are some more things that I wanna show over here as well. We saw the ceiling artifacts going back. And over here, we got these knots. And they are like a display piece of sailing. I, I presume he wasn't a sailor. Oh, we maybe also found a marine hat. That might have been one clue. Maybe early on in his life he was a sailor. And there are some sailing artifacts throughout the house. So that might have been a possibility as well. And then we got this little chair over here that depicts like a chassis long, a French lying chair, a psychiatric chair, as you could say. But this one has been designed in a different way. 
got this little drawer here to the side of it where you could put some things up on. And it also looks like a kid chair because it's very, very small. But I love the upholstery on it. Wow. And again, another Christmas artifact as well. Coming back. And here is their drawers where they stored all their clothes. Lots of toys as well in this room. I got these drawers here, and this cabinet here. Closet, sorry, I, I always mix them up. And here all the men's clothes are left him in inside. All his costumes are still in here. <sighs> wow. Let's look in this one as well. Yeah, it might have been the man that lived here the longest, but all because all his clothes are left here. Wow. Let's now head up this wonderful staircase. Let's see what we can find on that top floor of the house. Oh, there's already a very different design than downstairs. Very light as well. A lady with the ducks. Oh no, this. Are these goose or ducks? No, these are goose. Okay. This is a quite a big of a mess up here. <laughs> I was just looking at it. Oh, a baby crib. Oh, look at this. This is the homework of the children that we just found here. Matt's homework. Geometry. Oh, that's so wonderful to find. These are all their maps. Yes, this is all from the school years as you can see wow that's that's just a wonderful find Let's see look at the bedrooms so much things up here what happened up here that's my question wow two beds in this side not much more to find <laughs> I just looked at it and this side we have a very spectacular bedroom. This probably has been the bedroom of the, of the girl that lived here. Completely pink. But what's unique about this place is all the teddy bears that are surrounding the bed over here. <laughs> Look at them. This is what he, what she used to play with back in the day. Oh, I just adore things like this finding these memories. The bed is completely filled with all the teddy bears of hers. Her little cassette radio. Oh. Wow. These little hearts she made. to the side. I just noticed here on the wall there's a calendar left behind. And this one is placed on October, September, October, November from 2012. So that's, that's exactly the date when they told me that this place is abandoned. Okay, we have one more room here in the back. I have to be a bit careful because there's so much things on the ground. Whoa. And this is the attic, actually. Oh, I don't think this part of the house is very stable anymore. And I shouldn't walk on here too much. Just want to show this jar, a wine jar. For the most part, I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, wonderful. One more thing, looks at, look at the beams that are up here. I think the man totally built this place himself. just put on the water inside of this house. Look at this. <laughs> the water still runs after eight years. Everybody, that's Belgium. 
as well as free, free electricity, we also get free water. Crazy. 